I haven't sat here in ages. Like I'm a little bit like I don't know you guys. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. My name is Aoife, it's nice to meet you. So today, as you can see by the title, we're doing something that I haven't done on my channel in quite a long time. We are going to be doing a makeup look. Wow. Um, so today I thought it'd be fun to do a makeup look, something that's like a little bit more wearable. So like, I was thinking like, some black and oranges on the eyes because it's a Halloween but it's also like really wearable. Um, so today I thought I would do that for you guys. Um, I'm so excited because I haven't actually sat down, talked like this, kind of just updated you, talked about whatever is happening um, and also played with some makeup. I haven't worn makeup for like months. Like I've been so busy working I have, and then we were in lockdown, so I just didn't wear makeup. So I haven't worn makeup in the three months. Um, so today's gonna be fun. I have, I feel like I forget to do makeup, um, but hopefully it'll come back to me. But as you can see by the title, we're going to be jumping right in. This wouldn't be an Aoife video if I didn't have my little cat ears when I'm doing makeup. So they're on, we're ready, let's go. So I'm going to be first starting off with my Smashbox water primer. Um, this thing is really, really nice. This is a rebuy for me because I really enjoy this primer. Um, oh, I just like swallowed some of that. Um, so yeah, um, I'm going to let that set in for a little bit. I think, you see, I don't know whether to do my eyes first or my face. I might do my eyes if I'm using like black and stuff and it'll also give my face some time to like set in. So the concealer I'm going to use first is this Revolution Super Size Conceal and Define. Um, I tried this, I had this was like a first buy for me. Um, I tried it and I absolutely loved it. It gives you like really really full coverage which is really nice um, and it's just like it's just like something that like, I don't know, like it's really, really nice. Um, it's in like a really big bottle. I think it's like a dupe for, what's that brand I always use? You see, this is why I need to do makeup more often. I think it's a dupe for, is it Tarte? The Shape and Tape, that's Tarte, right? Um, and it has like that big bottle and like it's just it honestly has like coverage so if you could see before my lids they had quite a bit of like eczema red skin on them um, and now all of that is like gone away which is really nice I really have like a nice base to kind of work with um, my skin is really really dry so my foundation this concealer isn't the best for dry skin, but um, it's kind of like clinging to my areas. I look absolutely crazy. But yeah, so I think I'm not gonna set my base and I think I'm just gonna go straight into it. So the palettes I think I'm going to be using today is the Kaylee Urban Bible palette. This is from an Irish um, person, so I'm not sure if you know about that, but it's the brand Sasumi. And then I'm going to be using the NYX and this is the ultimate eyeshadow palette. So I've only tried this once ever. <clears throat> I have actually like a first review on my channel about this palette. So I also have one actually about this palette too. But I think this is like beautiful. It actually came out like this time last year I think. So it's like the proper colours for this kind of year. Now, so I think I'm just gonna like dive straight in and I'm just gonna go straight in with the black um, and just see how we go. We might as well. <clears throat> My throat sounds like really choky or something because I haven't really been talking much today. And now I'm just talking loads.
this might turn out like really hideous so if it does I apologize I'm not even sure if I use like black eyeshadow before I'm gonna go in with a lighter brown and I'm just gonna kind of like bring that like a little transition color Okay, so I have done the top um, half. It looks a little bit crazy right now, but I'm going to kind of finish off the top and make it look a little bit better once I have my foundation and stuff on. So I wanted to keep it really simple and then like put an orange maybe underneath. So I'm just gonna jump in with my foundation. So the foundation I'm gonna be using is the Tarte. This is the Radiance of the Sea. Um, in the shade Fair Beige and I'm also going to be using Born This Way in the shade Light Beige. So as you can see they're completely different beiges. Um, so I'm going to give them a real good shake up because I haven't actually like used these in ages. Which is like not good for your makeup. So I'm gonna talk to you a little bit while I am doing my skin makeup because it's just easier to kind of talk um, because I think when you're doing your face makeup it's a little bit harder to talk. So yeah. Um, so the reason why I'm actually uploading a little bit more recently, some of you may or may not have actually noticed, um, but that is because um, my country has actually just gone into its second lockdown for coronavirus. So um, we had a lockdown in like March and we got out of it. I went back to work at the start of July, which so as you can tell by that time frame, it's actually like a really, really long time. Um, which is kind of like not good, but um, I went back to work in July and now it is the, it's actually Friday the 23rd of August of what August it's Friday the 23rd of um, October and on Wednesday we went into our second lockdown so I had been kind of keeping up with I'm gonna like wipe that all off so I had been like keeping up with uploads like once a week for the last month I'd say um just because I had cut back on work um but now since I have like no work I think I'm gonna go and I'm gonna try and do a little bit more than once a week which is very fun um and I'm really excited about that so yeah I think it will be a really really good opportunity for me to kind of like see what kind of content I enjoy making um, because I think the content that I enjoy making has a little bit changed a little bit um, so I think it would be like nice to like you know experiment I also have a lot more free time this lockdown because um, in the first lockdown it was like obviously summer so my mum had me doing jobs outside the house like well not my mum but like I was offering to do them but there was just a lot of outside jobs to be doing a lot of painting um, a lot of like little stuff like that so I was always kind of kept busy also I was living with my boyfriend and this is kind of a funny story, but he actually didn't know I had a YouTube channel. So I told him recently and... So now it's kind of like okay to like be on YouTube or to be editing a video or whatever. 
I don't think I'm at the stage where I would like film in front of him yet because I think that's just a little bit awkward but I think it's nice that he kind of knows so if I'm doing anything he kind of understands or if I come home and I have like three buckets of makeup on he'll understand but I haven't actually wore foundation in ages and I thought that wouldn't color match me because I just mixed two together but it's actually like not looking bad at all my skin is, my neck is looking a little bit bad, but we'll get over that. Um, so anyway, point of the story is I have a lot more free time now, which is good. And he also knows that I kind of do this, so it makes it, me, it makes it easier for me to do, which is also good. So yeah, expect to see a lot more on my channel um yeah and i hope this is like a fun little chapter of my life um so the lockdown is actually only for minimum six weeks so in six weeks they're going to review it and stuff the six weeks mark is um that's actually the first of december so I really hope things start to open because otherwise like all of my online shopping and stuff for Christmas is like gonna have to be online. All of my shopping for Christmas and stuff will have to be like online. Um just like most other people and that's like not good for local businesses or the economy. Um so yeah. Hopefully we don't, you know, mess up our country, but yeah. Okay, so my concealer is on. Now I'm going to be setting and contouring. So the powder I'm going to be using to set, I think I got this and I haven't used it on camera yet, but this is like a, like a, what, what would you even call this? I don't know. Um, it's a, a inglot like powder, um, so it's a singular powder, so you can like pop it into like a custom palette or something. But I just never got a custom palette, so I just keep it in the box um, and like hope for the best that it doesn't like break or something. So that's my life. This is a really really light powder because I bought it for the daytime, and I actually have like no powders for like not the daytime or like for full coverage look so bear with me so because that is set now I'm going to be going in with my the bottom of my eyes I think so that's what I'm most excited about so I'm going to go in with this little NYX palette and I'm going to go in with this little cute orange shade. So yeah, Halloween is like cancelled basically in my country. Um, which is very sad. I'm not like the biggest fan of Halloween anyway. But I think it's like, like last year I was doing stuff for Halloween. Um, and stuff. And this year it's just going to be like nothing. We're going to be like sitting at home doing absolutely nothing, which is sad. So that's why I thought it would be so that's why I thought it would be the perfect year for my first ever Halloween kind of look. Because why not? This is looking like a lot worse than I expected. Um But it's my first makeup in ages. So but it's looking a little bit crazy. I think I'm gonna like stop doing it because I feel like I'm like overdoing it. So that is that. Um, I'm gonna be going in with my Hula bronzer. This is the original Hula. I have like a little tiny bit left. So I'm gonna be going in with this. And just bronzing up my face.
So, um, comment down below, like, what is the whole coronavirus situation in your country? Because I know, like, from watching the news, it's so weird because, like, it says that, like, New Zealand is just, like, living a normal life. They closed all the borders and stuff and they're just, like, chilling over there, like, completely normal. And then I know, like, um, the Netherlands and stuff. My sister lives in the Netherlands and one lives in England. And I know their countries are kind of, like, struggling. Um, but, like... Spain and stuff has like 3,000 cases. I mean, not 3,000, three, um, 13,000 cases like in one day and stuff. So like, that's not good. Um, but I was just wondering about the countries that like don't show on the news. Like what is happening with y'all? Okay, so I think that is enough for a second. I'm gonna be going in with my little blush and then my highlighter. So my blush, I'm just using like a really light kind of blush um, just because obviously it's pink toned so I don't wanna have like pink tones and orange tones and stuff. So I'm just like running through my cheeks and bringing it up and then I like to run through my face just to make it a little bit more colorful and then I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills this is the Amercy I think and it's like a gold highlighter so I thought this was really pretty um, so I'm going to go in with my favorite highlighter brush this is the Morphe M501 um, and we're gonna pop some of this on here. I haven't worn this highlighter in months. I just looked at the camera and I'm like glowing, so I'm going to stop with that. Um, okay, so I'm gonna pop on some, I'm gonna probably skip on to this part, but I'm gonna pop on some Carter Beauty After Dark Mascara. And then I'm gonna go in with some falsies. The falsies I'm gonna go in with are the Deluxe Lashes in the style Kylie and they're from Sosumi. So I'm gonna pop those on off camera. Okay, so my lashes are on. Um, I have to do my lips and my eyebrows. So for my lips, I'm going to be using my MAC Velvet Teddy and I'm just gonna be, it's like a neutral color, so it'll be like perfect. Um, it has a little bit of pinky tone, but I don't mind. It looks a lot more pinkier than on camera. Um, yeah. I actually forgot to get my eyebrow stuff, so I need to like go over to my drawer and get it. So I'll be right back. Okay, so for my eyebrows, I'm gonna be using the Goof Boof Goof Proof by Benefit. So it's like the perfect little pencil. Um, and I'm just gonna be running this through my brows. You can see the difference already. Okay, so I think that's me finished. So my glue is a little, it's still a little bit wet. It's still drying, but um, yeah. I thought this look would turn out a little bit better. I do like it because it's the first glam, full glam that I've done in like quite a while, long time. But um, I felt like the orange would be a little bit more pigmented, but I do think it looks a little bit better since um, I put the eyelashes and stuff on and like finished the touches with like the eyebrows and the lipstick and stuff. Um, I would wear this on like a night out. Obviously we're in lockdown, we don't have nights out. But I think this is a really, really like Halloween look. But just not like crazy like putting green face paint on your face. Um, so yeah, um, I love every single product that I've used. I absolutely love. Um, and yeah, I'm really happy with this. I really love making makeup videos, but I just like never do it and I really should do it more. But yeah, I'm really happy with this. I actually let my hair air dry last night and I feel like it just looks so like cute and curly. Um, so yeah, 
really happy with that as well. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed and I really hope you had a nice cup of tea and chilled and watched it and talked. Um, if you want to have a conversation or anything in the comments, just let them go. Um, comment them down below and I will of course be there to talk back. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you are all keeping safe, keeping well, and looking after yourself, that's the main thing. Um, and have a nice safe Halloween. Bye guys. Being a fan, that's what they call me Promise that you'll never be lonely